um, trigger warning mentions of bad things and stuff relating to a muggle. If you're familiar with this topic, you probably know where this is going. This might not be the video for you if you are unfamiliar with the topic and uncomfortable with discussing that. So recently I've been made aware of an event that was significant enough to pull me out of my seven years slumber hibernation that I take every single winter. And trust me, I do not take my hibernation time lightly. <laughs> So you know that this is a very important issue. Seemingly out of the blue, the creator and host of Amegal has decided to terminate the website, which has come as a shock to a lot of us. The service, randomly placed users in online chat rooms, as we all know, uh, has, has some controversial uh, happenings associated with it, you could say. I personally have experienced coming across things and people on Omegal that have haunted my dreams and thoughts ever since. Oh, how old are you? I am 19. Holy shit, I'm 38, show tits. And I'm sure you guys have as well, if you grew up in the same age as I am and you're not like a three-year-old who just discovered a tablet, in which case, you should probably get better parents, that's tough. So the founder, whose name is Leaf Brooks, has said that operating the website was no longer sustainable financially nor psychologically, which I can understand. It hadn't usually crossed my mind as a user, but if I was the owner, I would feel sort of guilt for all the unsavory things the site has been used for. From NPR, a young woman sued the website in 2021, accusing it of matching her in a chat when she was 11 years old with a man who exploited her after that. So the shutdown occurred a week after the court case. Quote from the attorney for Omegal is, the permanent shutdown of Omegal was a term negotiated between Omegal and our client in exchange for Omegal getting to avoid the impending jury trial verdict. Which, yikes. There's a lot of layers here, but I'm gonna kind of focus on what the shutdown means for the internet at large. If you were on the internet back in the 2000s, it was kind of the wild west for like the things that you could do and find and see on the internet. And it seems that we're kind of moving towards an era where that's not happening as much. Of course, we all know that Omega wasn't all bad and that it has been an iconic part of internet culture for basically my whole life. I, this dude was 18 when this site was created, launched in March 2009 by some 18 year old, which is very fitting for Omegal. It, it, it wouldn't be made by anyone other than some teenager. Its concept is fucking ludicrous if you really think about it. 2009, so I was born in 2003, which means I was six at the time. Um, yeah, that's basically my whole life. In the past, I also went on that website when I was far too young, and I remember how the attentions and compliments from strangers felt. Um, but in retrospect, I could have been in a very bad situation similar to the story of that girl. And for some people, it ended very badly. Thankfully, it didn't for me, but there, there is definitely reason for this cancellation. I mean, what do you guys think about it, though? Do you think that the cancellation is founded, or do you think that it should be a factor of parents watching their kids more on the internet? What do you think? Personally, the, the concept of a megal is not necessarily something that can't happen, but the way that it was being executed definitely wasn't serving the purpose of keeping people safe. It seems as time moves forward, the internet becomes more and more restricted, and I'm not entirely sure if that's a good or bad thing. At least in this case, because of my personal experiences with Megal alone, I think even ignoring some of the horrifying stories of others, it's probably for the better that the site did get shut down. Its very concept, unfortunately, encourages those types of interactions, um, as well as doxing and scaring strangers and lots of other things not even related to just the really really horrible stuff. Now that at least 20 million YouTubers are out of content at work, uh, maybe we'll see some more creativity on the platform as well. Who knows? My experience with Omega on YouTube specifically was kind of short. I've only done I think two videos where I went on Omega and my only goal was to have wholesome interactions. And I will say most of my interactions if you filter it out, like the ratio, it, it was mostly bad interactions. I like to pull out the good ones because those are what I personally go on Omegle for. But yeah, not all of them are like that. And it's kind of a cesspool sometimes, despite the wholesome parts plucked out. But I'm glad I made those videos and I'm glad I got to get those out before Omegle died. Um, RIP in pieces 2023 Omegle. Do you like my shades? Hold on. Absolutely styling, my guy. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a wonderful day. 
Hi. <gasps> little ducks. They are so and precious. Little birds. This one's name is Squeaks. Squeaks! Hi, Squeaks! Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> we haven't named this one yet. It's less than like 24 hours old. So. It's so cute. I have... I have a dick. Sorry. You have Tourette's? Yeah, I have Tourette's, yeah. <laughs> nice. I don't know. Is that the right response? I'm sorry. No, you're fine, yeah. Merci Ooh. beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, oui. Merci beaucoup, oui. Est-ce que tu parles français aussi? Est-ce que tu parles français aussi? Pop it. Pop it. Oh, I love your hair. Oh, thank you. Rick. 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 Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick. 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 Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Bye, shorties.